what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Since Hurricane Maria ripped across Puerto Rico last week, Donald Trump, your president, has tweeted or retweeted more than 50 messages. Guess how many were about the hurricane? How many brain cells does he have? You guessed it. One. Now, so what is getting the orange man's attention? He's the president of the United States, the president of the free world, the leader of America and America's democratic values. What in the world could he be doing that is so important when he have an entire U.S. territory without power that has been devastated by a Category 4 hurricane? What could he possibly be doing to have him so busy where he can't pay Puerto Rico any mind? He's beefing with the NFL. That's what he's doing. Since last week, in that same time period, he's tweeted or retweeted more than 10 tweets about the NFL protest. It's rather disturbing to him that NFL players are taking a knee to protest injustice in America. They're protesting the violent treatment of people of color in America. They're protesting police brutality, inequality in America. All of these things that I just mentioned are like the pillars of American values. I mean, that's what we fight for, right? Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, equality for all people. And rather than him being upset that an American has to go as far as taking a knee to protest injustice. His beef is that they won't stand to salute, to pledge allegiance to a flag, an inanimate object. Damn the people that's being affected. Damn the people that's being killed and hurt and brutalized. Damn all of that. Damn the idea of people being discriminated against and having their lives turned upside down. Damn all of that. You need to salute the flag, man. People have died for it. Well, my grandparents died for it. My uncles have died for the flag, have went to fought in World War II, uh, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, and just like any other black American, they came back to the United States after fighting for the freedoms of all Americans. They came back to America and got shitted on, had their rights trampled on, and they didn't get the same respect that other Americans had that were not black. In fact, many Americans who came, many people who came to America as immigrants were treated better than black people who fought in America's wars, who have actually fought in all of America's wars. They've treated people that are not even Americans better than black Americans, who they forced over here who they brought over here, who they kidnapped, who they murdered and raped for hundreds of years. And they act like we did them some type of grave injustice. 
They act like black people did them dirty. They act like they're mad. Like, if I can tell you this, if black people can just be an ounce as angry as these dirty, low down Trump supporters, these fucking Trump pansies, these fucking animals, if black people could be as just an ounce as angry as them motherfuckers are and be as diligent about changing the narrative as they are, she wouldn't have no words. We, we wouldn't have any worries. This motherfucker mad that people refuse to stand up for a flag and for a song that was written by a slave owner that has words in it that describes or that calls for the slaying of black people. You got the Trump pansies saying, well, he's sending help. He just sent help over the weekend. He sent help to Puerto Rico. That ain't the point, sucker. When you have a major disaster like that, boots on the ground is what the people want to see. They want to see the president of the free world on the ground lending moral support that's what they want to see. That's what real presidents do. Trump's Katrina is happening right now, and he's trolling the NFL. Perhaps he don't know that Puerto Ricans are Americans. Perhaps that he can't help Puerto Rico because helping brown people will upset his base. By the way, how many of you Trump pansies know that Donald Trump was denied the opportunity to buy the Buffalo Bills because of his shady business dealings? Yeah. It's amazing that you haven't figured out Don the Khan. That you haven't figured out that all of this stuff that he does, every time the heat comes on, every time the investigation starts to warm up into his dealings with Russia, he drops a tweet. Pay attention. He just pick a beef with somebody and throw everybody off because he knows that everybody's going to eat it up. And that's what's happening. 95% of the news out there are not talking about Puerto Rico right now. They're talking about Donald Trump. They're talking about his beef with the NFL. That's what they're talking about. So it's a distraction. It's a distraction to avoid the real issues. Colluding with Russia. His whack ass healthcare bill that ain't gonna get passed. His son-in-law dirty business dealings with Russia. His son's dirty dealings. His daughter's dirty dealings. They all over there, over there raping and pillaging the American community right now. They're, they're, they're raping and pillaging America. They're hustling. It's a big old hustle. Now, what he need to be focused on, why he worried about the NFL, he need to be trying to figure out how to keep Kim Young un off his ass. Because dude ain't playing no games. Would be a beautiful thing if they could lock up, right? Just them two. Because right now, the way it stands, this motherfucker going to get a bunch of people killed. Now, he's going to think about Trump. He won't speak out against white supremacy. But he has a whole lot to say about attacking gold star families. He's got a lot to say about going after and demeaning POWs who were captured at war. He's a five-time draft dodger. And this motherfucker got the nerve to talk about somebody being unpatriotic. He got the nerve to run around here telling people to bark out these little minions, these little dumbass minions out here. They're boycotting because of that. They're not boycotting because of police brutality injustice. They're boycotting because some 
asinine ass orange man told them to. Because you need to respect the flag. A guy that's unpatriotic, a five time draft dodger. They never questioned him. He's a five time draft dodger. He don't pay his taxes. He's crud. He has no diplomatic skills. He is a divider. He divides America along racial lines. And he got the nerve to talk about being patriotic. And these dumbass Trump pansies follow him like little lap dogs. Man, this is going to be very, very interesting winding down. I can't wait to see his ass get out of office. Donald Trump, it's time to be honest for once in your low-down, dirty, white supremacist, trick-ass life. Go ahead and say it. The reason you haven't visited Puerto Rico is because it doesn't have a white population. Man, I can't wait until a real human being is the president again. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah. Border, Texas.